Okay, so we're going to integrate x to the power of 5 divided by square root of x squared plus 5 with respect to x. So where are we going to start? We've got a rational term on the bottom with an x squared and we've got an x to the 5 on the top. So the u sub is not going to make this x to the 5 disappear straight away. So we'll have to play around a little bit. So let's start off with the u sub for x squared plus 5, see where that takes us. So u equals x squared plus 5, du equals 2x, dx, dx equals du over 2x. Okay, right, so just allow me to put this in here for now. I know we've still got x and u in the integral, which shouldn't really do, but I'm just going to do this so as you can see how it's done. So we've got x to the 5 already, square root of x squared plus 5, that's this one. So square root of u, and then dx is du over 2x. So we're coming into the u world now, just got a few bits to sort out first before it's done properly. So x to the 5 and x, well that x and that one can cancel out and that become a 4. The 2, that's really a half, we can bring that out to the front using the laws of integration. And then we just need to find a term for x to the 4. So let's just tidy up a little bit. So a half, x to the 4 I'm just going to write in in a minute. And then square root of u, I'm just going to write that as u to the half. Then we've got the du. So we're already at set to just the x to the 4. Now what we do have here is x squared. So we're looking for x to the 4. So if u equals x squared plus 5, we can say x squared equals u minus 5. So if we square both sides, basically... It's the same as x to the 4, which is what we're looking for. So if we write u minus 5 squared, then we're fully in the u world. So now we've got a proper integral we can work with. Okay, so next we should foil out this u minus 5 squared. So let's just do that. That will give us u squared minus 10u plus 25. So now let's set that up. Okay, right. Now we can split this up now into three different integrals. So we can go this one this one and this one. So we'll split it all up now into three different integrals. So we've got a half integral, u squared over u to the half. That then gives us u to the three over two. So two minus a half basically. So u to the three over two du. Now we've got a minus. So don't forget the half again. Let's just keep those halves out front. And we've also got this 10 which we can bring out. So we'll call that a 10 over 1. Then the integral, u divided by square root of u, that's just square root of u, which is also u to the half, du. And then add a half again, not forgetting this half, got to pull this half out with each term. So it's a half. Again, 25, we'll write as 25 over 1 integral u to the half, that's basically 1 over u to the half, so 1 divided by u to the half is u to the minus a half, and then du. Okay, let's tidy this up and integrate as we go along, because all these three terms now are just power rule, we can integrate them straight off. So a half, u to the 3 over 2, that gives me u to the 5 over 2, just add 1 to, to 1 and a half, that gives me 2 and a half, and then multiply by the reciprocal, 2 over 5, to the new power. So that takes care of that. So basically what we're doing is adding 2 over 2, 
which is 5 over 2, and then dividing by 5 over 2, which we can write as 2 over 5. So minus a half times 10 over 1, and then u to the half, u to the half, integrating that, add 1 to the half, which is just 1 and a half, so that's u to the 3 over 2, and then multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 thirds. Moving on to this one, so a half and 25 over 1, let's just put that in. U, so integrating minus to the half, add 1, we get positive a half. And multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2. So I like to keep the fractions in there, it just makes it nice and easier for the next line. So all we've got to do now is just foil all this out. So 1 over times 2 over 2 over 5, that just gives us 1 over 5. U to the 5 over 2 minus this 2 and this 2 cancels, gives us 10 over 3. U to the 3 over 2 plus those 2 cancel out. 25u to the half. Okay, that's us in the u world. So we're going to go into the x world next, but using these terms here like this, I just find it's nice and easy, keeps it nice and simple, avoids all the mistakes that you can make by trying to do quick calculations in your head. So now let's go into the u, from the u world to the x world. So u is x squared plus 5. So I'm just going to substitute x squared plus 5 into all these. So we've got 1 fifth. Okay, actually let's not put the bracket there. Let's write it like this. So u to the 5 over 2 is x squared plus 5 to the 5 over 2. Let's, yeah, let's just write it like that. Okay, minus 10 over 3 u to the 3 over 2, x squared plus 5 to 3 over 2, and then plus 25 u to the half. Okay, now I'm not going to put the plus c in yet because I'm going to make these all into rationale terms. So we've got 1 fifth x squared plus 5. So we've got the square root of x squared plus 5, because there's a 2 on the bottom. So we've got square root x squared plus 5. And this is to the power of 5. So that's how we write that. Okay, minus 10 over 3. Again, 2 on the bottom. The 2 on the bottom here, they're all square root terms. But the powers are slightly different. So square root x squared plus 5 to the power of 3 so that's cubed plus 25 square root x squared plus 5 and this is the power of 1 so that will stay the same and then don't forget the plus c okay